Hi everyone, thank you for attending today's webinar. My name's Zane, Bullhorn's Marketing Coordinator here in Sydney, and I'll be your organizer for today. Uh, first and foremost, I'd like to introduce our presenters. We've got uh, Senior Sales Engineer Aaron McIntosh from Bullhorn, as well as Chief Executive Officer Nicholas Beams from Astute Payroll. Today we're going to be running a presentation that's going to showcase the best of breed front to back office software solution that is of course going to be Bullhorns and Astute Payroll's combined software integration. So without further ado, I'd like to hand it off to Aaron to start the presentation. Thanks Zane. Today we're going to be talking about the best in breed solution for your recruitment process. What we're talking about here is taking the best vendors for each part of your recruitment process instead of taking a one vendor to do the end-to-end -end process where they, where they end up being the jack of all trades and master of none. What the benefits to you of going with the best in breed are, it's future proof. So you're able to pick and choose your vendor moving forward. If your business changes or a vendor doesn't perform, you can replace them. Or if you scale and go after a different type of business, then you can put in a new vendor to, to take that need. It's adaptable and flexible as you move forward and as you grow and you change. And you can also take advantage of all the innovation. Because of these vendors are the best in breed in that particular area, aspect of your recruitment process, they're going to be bringing new things to the table on a daily basis that you can take advantage of to help grow your business. Ultimately though, it's about accountability. Each vendor is the specialist in their area and that's the only part that they're working on. So if they're not performing, you can get rid of them and take someone else. So at the end of the day, what you have is a solution that's going to be streamlined, it's going to reduce costs because it's in the cloud, and you're going to be having a um, uh, the best of all aspects of the process. With a single solution vendor, what you get is uh, someone trying to do everything and how can someone know every aspect of the recruitment process and be good at all of those. So with that, we'll go into the, uh, all the rest of our presentation. So now we're going to talk about the full circle solution for your recruitment process, starting off with the front office, going to the mid office and to the back office. And what we have here are the best in breed vendors in the cloud space for delivering recruitment solutions. Starting off with the front office with Bullhorn, which is the market leading CRM, providing that applicant tracking workflow and processing, the ability to do mobile recruiting, that passive email integration and tracking of all emails within the system, and flowing on to being able to use the data that's brought into the system to do the analytics and analysis of where you're going with your, with your recruitment process. This leads into the Broadbean solution, which is the best in breed for job distribution, searching of CVs, candidate sourcing, and most importantly, that social recruitment, being able to get into the social media and posting out into, those, into that space. And then after the Bullhorn Broadbean processes, the data flows straight through to Astute Payroll, to your branded Astute Payroll portal, where Astute Payroll looks after your employee onboarding and employee self-service, including compliance and documentation. Timesheets, expenses and leave are also managed online in a variety of different formats and are totally configurable. Astute Payroll then runs your pay and award interpretation before producing your automated invoicing your payroll and then allowing you then, once your invoices have been sent, to receipt that money uh, in the Astute Payroll system. Once receipting is done, once payroll is done, once invoicing is done, all that data then flows into your General Ledger Zero accounting system, which is, as you will know, a, uh, a mobile accounting application that tracks your sales, purchases, um, updates your profit and loss on your balance sheet and then allows you to do your reconciliations. That's the process from Bullhorn through to Broadbean, through to Stute Payroll, through to Zero. Let's now deep dive into having a look at how the actual applications work in a live environment. 
I'll hand you over to Aaron. Thanks, Nick. I'm just going to dive straight into the Bullhorn platform here and give you an overview of the general layout and the navigation and show you the basic workflow of how to move from getting a job on to placing that candidate. So to start with, I'll just give you some high level details. I'm logged in as Aaron Demo, so keep in mind that this is demo data within the database, but we are in a live environment. I'm in a Chrome browser here, but we are browser agnostic. So whatever browser that you're using, we can adopt. On the left here, we have our navigation window, our menu to get exactly where you want to get to into the system quickly and easily, whether it's your contacts or candidates or jobs. Keep in mind though, that the language and terminology that we use throughout the system is completely configured to you. So if you call your jobs vacancies, it's a simple change that can be made. On the left, we've got our navigation pane, which is pre-populated to the consultant's own personal preferences. So all the windows that they want to see when they first log in, whether it be a task list or dashboard or company list or candidate list, which I have here, they can set up and it's ready to go. And as we navigate through the system, what you'll see is that this is where windows will open on this pane so they can click through the different windows without a different tabs opening across the top or pop-ups opening across the windows. It makes it really easy to manage multiple things happening at once. The first thing I'm going to dig into though is the task list. So the task list is a list view where I can drag and drop columns and personalize this to the way I want it to look. But also I can filter this to make it really easy to be focused on those tasks that I need to be working on at any one time. Or maybe just smashing out my sourcing calls. So I can filter that and just see my sourcing calls in the morning and, I'll, and start off with the high priority ones and work down. But as a manager, you can see your direct reports task list, or if someone's away, you can look at their task list and reassign those tasks to other people. Now, if I go into the binoculars now, I'm presented with all the details relating to those tasks in one window. I can see who the contact is, who the candidate, what's the job, all the details relating to them, so I can make those phone calls. Um, add notes after I've spoken to the to the hiring manager or to the candidate, and it's all in one place and very very simple and and makes it very efficient. Now, from here I can jump into the con company list, for instance, and I'm presented with all the details of of the companies that I may be working on. Again, it's a list view, but because it's a company entity, there's a lot more fields that I can add in here. And I can put any field that's on that company record across this list and move them about and create a view here to be able to enable me to work on those tasks that I'm doing relating to this to these companies, whether it being BD calls or account management activities, or maybe here I'm just looking at all my active accounts and I can save the layout and the filters of this view as a favorite. So maybe my hit list that I'm, or my PSL review companies, and I can hit the uh, favorite view and I'm presented with just that data that I want to be working on today. Now, once I go in and click on the binoculars on the company list, I'm presented with some details relating to that company. And this is completely configurable. So what are the details that you want to see on these cards? But I can start to see here some details relating to the contacts at this company. And I can see when is the best time to email them. Now, this is some of the analytics that we're capturing and overlaying from all the emails that we're passively tracking in the system. So every email that's sent to or from a candidate or a contact is tracked in the system without the consultant needing to do anything. So it's done at the server level and it makes sure that it all gets into the system and we can start to get some intelligence from that just by looking at when emails are sent, how, the level of activity that's occurred over time and things like that. So here I, I may want to just dig in to see what conversations happened in October because the, something happened, there was a major event. So I can see every conversation that happened in October, go and read all those individual emails and start to get a better understanding of what's going on. We may be working with a large organization and 
before we start reaching out to them, we want to see who else from your organisation has relationships there, just to make sure that we're all aligned and we're talking the same language and talking to the right people. You can maybe talk to I can talk to Alex, he's just started talking to them and find out what his conversations have been about. But if I want to, I can just go in and have a look at any every email that's been sent to or from this organisation. And this is great when you've got multiple um, touch points within the organisation. You don't want all your consultants sending the same person an email on the same day asking the same question. It just removes that duplication of effort and makes you um, a more professional organisation because you're not doing having those overlaps and crossovers. So let's see what's going on there. Now, we know that a recruiter's day is heavily driven by interruption, and our fast find feature makes it easy to deal with those phone calls that happen right when you're in the middle of doing something. So I've got a phone from, from, from Chris Scott. I can type in his partial details into the fast find, bring up his uh, contact record, and straight away, I can see some high-level context as to who Chris Scott is and what's our relationship been with him. So we've got our workflow icons across the top here, which highlight um, how many jobs and how many shortlists and CVCNs and interviews and placements. But you can define what those high-level bits of information you want to see and what context that's going to give you. I've also captured some general comments here so I can see uh, who he is, who his wife is, what he's into in terms of rugby and cricket. So I can start this phone call off on a personal note before we get into the nitty gritty and the work things. Now Chris thinks, great, this guy's remembered me and I might not have even spoken to him for six months but I know where he's at and who he is and I've got some context there. Now from here, I may want to just jump straight into my email and work my my day. And we know that recruiters live and die in their email. And what we've done at Bullhorn is made it incredibly easy for them to leverage the database while still being in their email. So if I go to Chris Scott's record here, I've got his email, but I've also got this Bullhorn widget here. And by clicking on that, I can get a direct link into the database and see that he's the general manager at Geelong Engineering, it's all hyperlinked so I can take me back into Bullhorn. I can see his open jobs and notes. I could add a note or a task directly from my email here, but even better, he sent me a job description. If I select that, I could pass that in directly into the system as a, as a lead or a candidate, a contact opportunity, or in this case, a job. But even if he'd sent me updated terms, I could attach his, this file to his record and move it forward. But this is even better when a candidate sends you an email and he's in this instance Michael Johnson sent me his CV. I go to the Bullhorn widget and we can straight away see that he's not actually on our database yet. So we could add him on um, or associate him with a record but because he sent me his CV if I select that I can just now pass him on to the system directly from my email And it's added the, a new candidate and done all the duplicate checking as well. And I can, um, I've got a new candidate to start working with. I could save it here, but it won't allow me to save it until all the mentory fields have been completed. And, it, and these are, def, are a configuration that are defined by you. You decide what are those fields that are mandatory, just to ensure that your data is clean and kept up to date. Now from here it may be that I'm, uh, I've put this candidate on the system but I'm going to go out and meet with uh, Chris Scott in person and I could jump into the Bullhorn uh, mobile app here which is a mobile optimised website which means nothing needs to be installed onto your phone and I can just type in again like we did before partial details of Chris's name into the app and it will bring back his record and so I'm on the way to his meeting I can see the details of where he's at I could call him on the way maybe even just sitting in reception I can review all the activities that have ever gone on with Chris and while I was in the meeting he may have given me a job or I may want to contact a note uh, put some notes against his record add tasks or even create an appointment I can do this all from my phone and further to that is that I've got lots of other 
things that I could do from this application, including adding leads or jobs or even doing a candidate search directly from my phone while I was with a, with a contact. But jumping back into the system, I've got a job here that I want to work. Now, this job may be, in this instance, I've got a Java developer role, I've got the description here, and I want to get this going. I want to get it out and um, get it out onto the job boards. So I'm going to leverage our Broadbean integration here. Now, Broadbean is one of our marketplace partners, and they have built an integration here, which means that we host Broadbeam within the Bullhorn platform, and it, I don't have to remember a URL or a username or password, it's just going to open up directly in the Bullhorn. I now select what job boards I want to post this job out to, and anyone that applies to this job will come directly into the Bullhorn database, and their source will be tracked as part of that process. So you can run a source effectiveness report and not only see where your candidates came from, but how far did they get in the process. But we want to leverage our database here. So we're going to run a search directly from here. We're going to do find matching candidates, which will do a first pass of the database and search for candidates that meet those criteria from the skills that it's been able to grab from that job description and done a um, and populated our search. We could quickly review each of these candidates directly from here by clicking on the binoculars and we can review their CV and see all the highlighted terms which have, have come up in that search. Now, we may want to refine the search a little bit more and get a, a better mix of candidates. So we can drag and drop our search terms or even just type in a bullet string in here and add in additional search criteria, or maybe HTML, and to make a more robust and, and thorough search. But this is doing free text across the CVs and work history and job descriptions. But down below, we can start to add in, in addition to this free text search, a field by field search based on any field that's in the on the candidate record, whether it be skills or availability or categories, literally any field that's there, even custom fields that you've added and, and purposed for, it might be capturing what colour tie they wore at the interview, and we can add that onto the system. Okay. Now, once we've got the candidates that we that make sense and we want to take through to the next stage, we can select them, and there's a variety of different actions that we can do at this point, whether it is add them to talent pools or distribution lists or do CV sends and notes or just even email them. But what we're going to do is add them to the candidate shortlist, which is going to attach them to this job, and we're able to then start to work them through that recruitment process. So when we go back to the job, what we'll see now is that we've got three candidates shortlisted against this role. We go into that shortlist and we can start to progress them through that workflow. In this instance, we've got Jonathan here and we can update the various statuses that we go through, do CV send outs and interviews, but ultimately we're going to place this candidate. And by placing him, we can then uh, progress him through to the next step of the process, which will, is where Astute's looking at our event queue and will pick up this placement and all the details relating to it and take it on through the, the back office processing. So as soon as that's saved and been approved, it can kick that off. So with that, I'll hand it over to Nick. Thanks, Aaron. Let's now look at how Astute Payroll works in with Bullhorn on the front end and with Zero on the back end. As you can see on the screen here, Astute Payroll is, gives you complete control from onboarding right through to payroll. It takes your workforce management to a whole new level. It's live 24-7, accessible through any web browser from any location. Let's jump into a live demonstration. You'll see here this firm here and you'll see that the employee that Aaron processed through Bullhorn has come through the Bullhorn upload tool within Astute Payroll. He's been activated and you'll see Jonathan Black here. 
if Jonathan was a brand new placement for the recruitment firm, also you would see here the customer down here has also come through with all the customer details. Let's focus on the employee and run through the process of onboarding through to timesheets, expenses and leave, pay and interpretation and then payroll invoicing and receipting. Jonathan goes to work and he works a week in his job. What he'll do is he'll come in and he'll fill in a timesheet and the timesheets with an astute payroll can be set up and customised in a whole variety of different formats. They can be piecework, they can be hourly, they can be daily, they can be split shift with allowances, without allowances, with expenses, without expenses, with leave, without leave. There's a, an endless number of configurations for the timesheet. This timesheet has been set up because Jonathan could be working on one of one, two, three or four different projects. So you'll see here that on this day, Jonathan worked in the head office on the project administration from nine to five. On Tuesday, Jonathan could be working in a different area and he is working from 9 a.m. and then 5 p.m. Alternatively, you could copy all of this to the rest of the week and you'll note here that Jonathan has now completed 40 hours of work. Jonathan can make notes. Those notes could be passed on. By law, you are supposed to be asking for any reportable workplace injuries. That notifies the relevant individuals. And what we can do now is we can save this timesheet and you'll see down the bottom that Jonathan instantly knows what his base hours are. From here we can deduce that Jonathan doesn't have an award, he's paid a flat wage. If he were paid an award, he would list here. Once Jonathan submits his timesheet, he will be notified by email and his approver will receive an email explaining that attendance was successfully submitted. Can they approve or reject? These functions are available on any web browser and on any mobile device. Also you'll note that everything in the Institute Payroll System is tracked so that we can add, so that you can know who is submitting, who is approving and who is getting paid and when. Once Jonathan's timesheet has been approved, Jonathan will then go into payroll. Running payroll in Institute Payroll is as simple as coming into your payroll, selecting the data that you will be running your payroll reports on and then processing your pay runs. You can have as many different pay runs as you like and once the pay run has been confirmed, you will then be able to see how many employees are within that pay run and what are the relevant numbers associated with that pay run. Once that is done, you are then able to lock the pay run, export your ABA file to your bank, send out your employee pay slips and then you're ready for your invoicing. Invoicing is even easier in a stew payroll than processing your payroll. Simply come into the invoicing tab, go into all outstanding invoices. Once you've confirmed what you want to pay, you can then select the invoices, double check that these are the amounts you want to pay. Sorry, these are the amounts you want to invoice and then the system then does the rest for you. You can select those invoices and they will be emailed by mail. A couple of important things to note with invoicing is that Astute Payroll is a system, as you'll see up on the left of the screen, that can run multiple entities. So you might have multiple brands or multiple ABNs. The Astute Payroll application can be hierarched so that you have one corporate entity with many different brands or entities underneath. Each different brand or entity can have its own URL and its own colour scheme and logos. Once an invoice for an entity is ready to go, you'll see here that the invoice is very self-explanatory. You'll see here that the invoice can be sent as email, it can be sent as a PDF, or you can send it to your printer and send it via post. 
invoices then come in a format that allows the employer to see the invoice in a format they like, which is mainly in PDF format. And what we'll do here is download the invoice. This is live and you can see here that this invoice has come out in a consolidated format for a number of different people on one week. After you get the invoice, you will then see the relevant timesheets for the various people. What their details are, who then approve those timesheets and when they are submitted for payroll. So, once we run through the payroll and award interpretation function. We then come to reporting. Reporting in Astute Payroll handles everything and every report is configured and exportable out to CSV so you can figure it more. Some of the main reports that people use are the margin report to work out exactly what your margin is per billing entity, region, branch, customer, workplace, billing entity, anything you like. Um, Recruiter Analytics is a very useful report for identifying the rates on costs, but more importantly, the total margin and the margin as a percent for that particular recruiter, for that particular division, or a particular group of employees. Once invoicing is completed, you're able, and reports are completed, you're able to use the communications tab with an astute payroll to then generate SMS and or email functionality so that the system keeps up to date with your people wherever they might be. So let's move along and focus on a customer spotlight. Justine is the financial controller of Veritas Recruitment. Based in Western Sydney but with branches in multiple states, Veritas has been using the Bullhorn and Astute Payroll applications together for a little over two years, placing permanent part-time and contract on higher labour and perm in a number of different sectors. Justine had a chat with Zane from Bullhorn about her experiences with using the two applications. Here's Justine and Zane to, to talk to you direct. Hi Justine, thanks for joining us today. Uh, I guess we'll get cracking right into it. Uh, first question would be, I guess, getting a bit more of a better understanding about what Veritas is and, and what kind of recruitment you do. Um, we're more white collar recruitment, so from reception level, customer service, up to CFO level. Um, we do a lot with um, the larger companies as well as some smaller mediums as well, little boutique companies um, we work with, we have good relationships with those people as well. Great, great. So uh, we've identified that you've um, previously been on a server-based system and have recently made the switch to a cloud-based system, uh, in particular Bullhorn and Astute's combined integration. So then how has that helped you, I guess, go about your day-to-day -day operations? Um, I think cloud has made it easier for us, like with Astute and Bullhorn, because they can, for recruiters I know if they're out on the road visiting clients, they can pull information up with Bullhorn and also with Astute you can do it. I work part-time and on Friday we had one of the admin girls away at our F Essendon office and they needed something done urgently so I was on my mobile logging in and to a student fixing something up for them so that just makes the whole thing whole process so much easier for, for all of us. Great, great. So what we know is that a lot of people switch onto the cloud uh, for the scalability and the, the growth it supports. So um, has it held true for you in that regard? Yeah, look, it's, it's grown um, each year. The, the growth that we have is um, pretty phenomenal in lots of ways. And the growth that we've had since we've been on Astute, um, we moved to their payroll system mm -hmm. in November, end of November, early December last year as well. It's just made the, the growth um, so easy to handle and streamlined it all. Well, yeah, we're quite familiar with... Um uh, customers at Bullhorn coming back and saying that's really supported their growth, uh, and in particular Astute as well. But um, would you perhaps have any numbers or, or metrics that you could share with us? When we, I think in the August 2012 when we moved to Astute, we probably had about 60 temps. Um, now we have a, a week, now we have about 200. So that, you know, has progressively increased 
um, in that time. So those numbers and the and the system has just has helped us be able to do that without putting on any additional staff. And um, what about the the feedback from the team? Has has everybody been able to hop on board and and use the system to its fullest and find everything that they need to find within within Bullhorn? Um, it is Bullhorn is a pretty user user friendly system, so it doesn't take long for people to um, work how to do it. I myself, you know, have, can get on and look at look at things without you know having had any training from anyone how to do how to find things. So. Thanks for that, Justine. Uh, I guess as a closing sort of thought, uh, how does the system that you have right now with Bullhorn and Astute working together, uh, how does it compare to the previous all-in-one sort of solution that you were using before? And um, I suppose, uh, I guess, are you happy with what you have right now? I'm very happy with what we've got because an all-in-one sometimes tries to do too much and then it can't do things very well. I worked with um, SAP at Pilkington about 15 years ago and whilst it was a great system and tried to do all in one, it, it could do some things really well and other things not so well, whereas having different ones that plug in and work together, the, you can concentrate, you as a um, recruitment platform can concentrate well on getting things right for there and then astute as the timesheeting payroll thing can concentrate on that and, and get that working very well and then, you know, then you've got your financial side that can get the right system there can have all the right things that you need from there <laughs> well we always love hearing that so um i think that pretty much wraps it up for today thank you very much for your time justine that's okay no problem thank you looking at the key benefits astute payroll when used with bullhorn reduces up to 70 percent of back office processing costs these figures have come from testimonials from existing customers who also confirm that the automation from the hire right through to the pay process within Astute Payroll helps save, in many instances, up to 50% of administration time. And from the Bullhorn side, what we've been able to see is that Bullhorn is 40% faster than other CRMs. It, that allows you to make 43% more placements. This is what our clients are currently telling us. And also that your recruiters can save up to 75 minutes per day. And today we have an exclusive promotion for everyone on the call. What we're offering is that you can have a free standard migration from legacy platforms like Fast Track, those all-in-one solutions, to a best-in-breed bullhorn solution and, and part of that will also include free training. So what that will mean to you is that you'll have zero setup costs, you can move to bullhorn from fast track paying only licensing fees moving forward. And with Astute Payroll, the promotion today for, for callers here is that we will provide for you a free standard integration with bullhorn and then discounted licensing only for Bullhorn customers as part of this promotion for the life of your contract. When you add up these two um, numbers, firstly you need to look at what your current costs are with current systems, particularly all-in-one systems like Fast Track, uh, the cost of maintenance, etc. Take into the enormous discounts that Bullhorn and Astu Payroll are offering in terms of setup, migration, training, and ongoing licensing. And this exclusive offer can represent to you an overall saving of around $15,000. We're delighted to present to you today. We would love the opportunity to have a confidential discussion with you um, whenever you like to look at what savings could be made using Bullhorn and Astute Payroll in your business. We would like the opportunity to maybe do a demonstration, a bit more of a deeper dive into features that we've only just brushed over today, uh, particularly um, if there's any, anything in particular that you would like to know. We can spend time online or face-to-face -face going through those details. We can then present to you pricing and the offers and the savings of using the best of breed cloud applications presented to you today. And then obviously we can then talk about implementation and, and getting you up and running, freeing you of the shackles of, of current desktop-based non-integrated applications and uh, get you into the cloud. 
Astute Payroll, we're available business hours, astutepayroll.com or give us a call on 1800 Astute or give us an email at sales at astutepayroll.com and we'll get back to you the same day. If you're looking to talk to Bullhorn, you can reach us at 02-8073-5089 or contact us on our, on our sales email line on ausales at bullhorn.com. Look, thank you for your time today and we look forward to hearing from you. Any questions, please reach out, reach out to the Astute team or Bullhorn. We'll be more than happy to start those discussions and moving this forward. Thanks and have a great day.